heard the messaging from health officials to roll up your sleeves and get your shots to protect yourself from a plethora of diseases. And vaccines were the focus at Dartmouth College today. Adam Sullivan finds out why in tonight's Health Watch. Access to vaccines and vaccine acceptance were just two of the topics addressed here at Dartmouth at the day-long conference. More than 5 billion people worldwide got at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Experts say the shots were crucial for society as a whole to successfully navigate the pandemic. It allowed us to safely reopen schools and businesses and travel. The technology behind the mRNA vaccine for COVID was invented at Dartmouth. And research is currently underway for a COVID nasal spray vaccine. But prior research on other vaccines for illnesses like measles and tuberculosis also took place here. It's a remarkable legacy. Because I say global health. That legacy was highlighted Wednesday during an international vaccine conference, which brought together experts from all over the world. Dr. Ford Von Ryan is an infectious disease specialist who teaches at Dartmouth's Geisel School of Medicine. Are vaccines safe? Oh yes, vaccines are safe. And I think what people may not always realize is that there's an extensive program in the United States and many other places for following the safety of vaccines. Not only the big trials that show that they're safe, but then the post licensure data that proves and follows for any side effects that might be very rare. Conference co-chair Kendall Hoyt is with Dartmouth's John Sloan Dickey Center for International Understanding. You can have the safest and most effective vaccine in the world, but if you can't get it to the people who need it, when they need it, where they need it, it doesn't do anyone any good. Hoyt studies vaccine campaigns and says healthcare delivery systems, economics, and messaging are all important parts of getting people vaccinated. The conference touched on all of those issues, as well as why some people are reluctant to get a vaccination. Reasons for hesitancy are as variable as, you know, any political topic you could come out up with. And it's, it, I mean, thankfully, we have one of the world's leading experts here, uh, Brendan Nyhan, and it is an entire discipline to try to understand the answer to that question. A planning committee is proposing a major vaccine institute here at the Big Green that would further that connection to the life-saving science. Reporting from Hanover, New Hampshire, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.